What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at box plots for pandas in Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at box plots. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at box plots, which are these things right here. If you're into statistics and all that cool stuff, then you know and love box plots. And in this video, we're going to look at how to do this with matplotlib and pandas. So let's head up here to the top of our code here. We've got our basic starter code we've been working on for a little while. I'm just calling this notebook box plots. And as always, we're importing pandas as PD, numpy as MP. We're doing some random number stuff, and we've got this matplotlib in line so we can do charts and graphs and stuff in our Jupyter notebook. Super easy. And again, just like the last few videos, I've got this random data that I've generated with a bunch of random numbers and columns of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So let's go ahead and create a box plot. So as always, we just call our data frame. So that's my underscore DF, because of course up here, that's what we named it. And then we just call dot plot and then set the kind equal to box. Shift enter to run this thing and boom, here we go. So super easy and uh, really cool. So you see we have the median right here in the middle. We've got our whiskers here and uh, the different quartiles and very, very cool. So this is the basic size and I've got my screen sort of zoomed in. Normally it would look a little something like this. So, you know, around this size, we could change the size of this by doing our fig size attribute. So we can set fig size equal to and pass in, you know, a tuple here. And so we can say, I don't know, 10 by five, something like that. You can see here's the old one. Here's the new one, much wider. You know, you could do anything you want, 10 by 10. <laughs> it's like really big, whatever you feel like doing, super simple. But you can also change the color. In the last video, we looked at C maps. We can use our C maps here too. So we can go C map equals. And I, I don't know, jet is that one. There we go. So we've got dark. And again, if you want a list of these, we could just go to Google and type in matplotlib cmap. And then we'll go to this website and this just lists all of them. We looked at this in the last video. Check out the playlist in the pinned comment section below if you want to watch that video. You can also get the code for this video down there as well. But you can see these are the different options you have. I'm not going to go into all of this again because we talked about this last time, but uh, any one of these will work as a CMAP color here. Super simple. Now, in a lot of these plots, let me come up here and grab this guy. Well, let me come up here and grab this original guy. And a lot of these, we can add legends. And we can't actually do that here. If we go legend equals true, we just get an error. So, this is one of the very rare times when you actually can't add a legend to this thing. So just sort of keep that in mind. I'll leave that on there just so you can see it. We can add a title though, as always. So we could go my awesome box plot, <laughs> right? My awesome box plot, there you go. Super simple. Now, a lot of these charts and graphs we've looked at in this little series here have a second way you could do it. And this one does as well. So we can go my underscore df dot plot dot box. We could do it like that. Same thing. All the same attributes will work. So we could set the title in here, you know, my awesome box plot exclamation points, <laughs> right? There we go. Same thing. You can also add a grid to this. Now, a grid's actually kind of useful for a box plot. And I'll show you why. Let's just come down here and set grid equal to true. You can always add a grid, but in this particular case, it's more useful because like, look at this. This is the median number right here, this green line. And without this grid, like, is it zero? Uh, kind of looks like zero. Maybe it's a little bigger. What about this one? Is it zero? Uh, by the time I pull my mouse over, it kind of moves. I can't keep it straight. But with a grid, we can see, boom, this one is dead zero. So is this one. These two are a little bit over. Grid lines are very useful for box plots. And you can see same thing up here. Just very, very useful. And that's cool. So if you're not familiar with a box plot, we can call my underscore df dot plot dot box and then just put your cursor in here. And as always, you can hit your shift and your tab key at the same time to get this little help screen thing. So we can increase this. And uh, this is a really nice little thing you could read. A box plot is a method for graphically depicting groups of numerical data through their quartiles. So the box extends from Q1 to Q3 quartile values of the data with a line at the median. That's this, uh, you know, green thing right there. 
And it actually comes over to a Wikipedia page. It's like, if you want to really learn more about these, which I suggest if you're not familiar with box plots, because, you know, if you don't know what they are, obviously this is Greek to you. But just head over to Wikipedia, check out this little uh, article, it's, you know, a couple pages long. It's not very big. And uh, kind of understand what box plots are and why they're useful. If you already know, you already know. And, you know, it's just super easy to create them with pandas like everything else in pandas and matplotlib, just very easy and very cool. So that's really all there is to box plots, like all these charts and graphs, really easy to use, and that's kind of all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.